As you probably know, I put literally seconds of work into this uh, bike to work thing. But I'm ready to go. We have, uh, I found a, a knapsack, an old laptop uh, uh, bag I used to have. We put uh, a washcloth and deodorant in there, all the essentials, and a uh, thing to take stuff off my camera. And I have uh, the bike, including the spiffy new uh, water bottle filled with water from the tap, so that automatically takes me out of the uh, cool kids class. We're ready to go. Time out was 9.40, it's now 9.42, it's windy out today, I'm supposed to be at work at 10, I don't think I'm going to make it. One of the great things about Woodbury is they have great bike paths, in great shape, everywhere, and it's especially good if you're riding bike instead of a car because we also have highways that look like Fallujah. So this is an improvement. Onward. All right, am I a bicyclist, a pedestrian, or a motorist? I always have problems on uh, bike paths. Can I go in front of those cars at the stop sign or am I supposed to stop? Hello, snobby suburbanites in your fancy cars. That lady just honked at me because I got to this intersection, the green light. She wanted to turn right. So now I've stopped. I got the same problem I had before. Am I a biker, a pedestrian, or a motorcycle? I used to ride a bike a lot when I was a kid. Of course, that was in the days when parents didn't hover over their kids quite so much. I lived on a uh, state highway in Massachusetts, and I'd ride 30, 40 miles up into New Hampshire. My mother never knew where I was. When I was in school in Boston, I used to uh, ride my bike back to the about 40 miles outside of town where we lived. Okay, here we go again. Should I swear at this guy? Is that what bikers are supposed to do? Poor woman. Almost in uh, Maplewood. This is a construction zone that's been a real headache for drivers. I have no such problem except for the fact that I'm not really sure how to get where I want to go, which is at the bottom of Battle Creek. You say on this road, I end up uh, down on Highway 61. You can't have bikes on Highway 61. So I've got some uh, figuring out to do. And I say now I've got a problem. No more bike path. They want to go on a construction. I can go into this neighborhood, see where it goes. This is uh, Old Woodbury, and it's great for bike riding. I've always enjoyed riding over here because you can ride down in the middle of the street. Beautiful streets. I don't know where they go. I'm about half an hour into the ride, I'm about uh, three miles from my house, or as we like to say, the suburbs from where my car lives. Okay, it ends up over by the uh, Ramsey County Workhouse, which means I've got a ride on a road here that's uh, two lanes tight under construction. Creek section of St. Paul now, going up a hill. Now this guy's got the right idea. That's a bike to work day I can embrace. How do you know you're in St. Paul? Please call the cops. Oh yeah. You know what I have further realized? 
realize though is this idea that bikes should stop at stop signs doesn't really make any sense. There's nobody out here, there's nobody at the intersection. I think the legislature was dealing with a bill this year that would have allowed bicyclists just to slow down and yield without stopping, but I don't know what happened to that legislation. I'll try to find out. Still trying to find Highway 61 and that bike path uh, around Pig's Eye. Maybe it's down here somewhere. Okay, explain this to me. If it's a dead end street, how come it's a bike route? My only other option here is to go on Highway 61. I don't want to do that. Let's go see what's up here. Hey, look at that. There it is. The Emerald City. Maybe they have a wizard that can get me a brain. Maybe I'll watch some trains along 61 here. It's actually a great ride. <laughs> this is really actually great fun. I think I broke my watch because it says it was an hour and 10 minutes ago that I left. I'm taking a little break here. Uh, eight miles that away is where I left from, and now I'm just enjoying the beautiful scenery here at the uh, rail yards. I like to read the graffiti that's around places. There's a guy down there, apparently, who thinks that slut is spelled with an E. Kids, stay in school. I'm doing wrong. Bike path only. Hey, stupid drivers. That guy gonna open his door on me? Okay, is this guy right or wrong? Right on the sidewalk. I say wrong. Best thing about riding a bike is I don't have to wait for the stupidest light in St. Paul. I think it's for all the people going to Woolworths. Freedom, baby. I wonder if anybody's ever seen the bowels of Minnesota Public Radio. Hold on. Green light. Means I still work here. Good sign. people are here. Alright, this is a problem. I didn't bring a bike lock. You know, this is NPR. I know people here who kill just to watch people die. They think nothing about stealing your bike, apparently. This could be a problem. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> 